like a knife right through the truth and it changes your life and the next tonight with us thing his you know name is Ryan Laird pronounce the last name right Ryan Laird yeah Laird yeah okay um why don't you kind of introduce yourself to our listeners real quick well uh, I'm originally from Canada I living in Nashville for about two years and uh, just drove in uh, five hours of snowy weather to get here <laughs> <laughs> appreciate that yeah no it's really great to be here um, we've just been uh, you know, touring around, hitting all the different cities lately, and it's been a lot of fun. Okay, and, and people um, have kind of found out about you because of a billboard in Nashville, right? Yeah, I had this crazy idea one night in my, uh, in my sleep, and I woke up and I was like, no, no, it's too crazy to do that. But then I convinced myself to do it, and uh, what I was trying to do is just get noticed in Nashville as a, as a new artist. So I was like, why don't I just put a billboard up on Music Row where all the music stuff happens down there, asking Taylor Swift to produce my album because I'm like a really big fan of hers. And this is prime real estate, this billboard. Can I ask you how much you paid for this thing? <laughs> it was like a life savings. <laughs> was it really? So, I mean, you're putting everything on the line. That's what you got to do to get a start, yeah, right? You gotta, sometimes you just got to give it your all. <laughs> what kind of billboard is this? Is this one with all the lights and the whole nine yards? Or yeah, yeah. It's got the lights and everything. It's right, it's right on the main area. And it's right across from Taylor's publishing house you know, company. So they'll definitely see it. And um, she's actually got a billboard that's huge just down the street from it. So it's pretty cool, and, and there's, a, there's a picture of me on the billboard passing a note to her, and it's like saying, um, hey, Taylor, I love your music. Will you please produce my album? We actually we, – and uh, we have a, uh, the video linked up on our website, plus we have a copy of the picture to you standing by the billboard and everything. If you want to go to our website, Keyword Broadway, awesome. um, you can check that out. I want to play um, – I was checking out your music on MySpace, and um, I know you guys are kind of pushing the song Love Me, but my favorite song that I heard on the, uh, the MySpace page was called Two Weeks In, so I'm going to play this real quick if that's all right with you. Awesome. That's we'll great. come back. We'll talk more with Ryan next. The Electric Barnyard, Broadway, and Crawl. Ryan is actually um, in the barnyard with us, hanging out right now. This is a guy that put his life savings on the line to buy a billboard on Music Road to try to get Taylor Swift's attention to, pertu- uh, to produce um, his CD. Uh, Ryan, I mean, I don't want to like shine a negative light on anything, or, but like, what if this doesn't work out? What if you don't get her attention? The billboard's down. What do you do then? What's the next step? You know what? I haven't even been thinking about that because I mean, it's all it's all positive thinking at this point. So uh, you know, I guess I'd have to think of something else creative to do. But you, you just got to be out of the box in Nashville these days. And uh, I'm a big fan of hers. I think it'd be a really cool collaboration. I think uh, Carrie Underwood billboard would work. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> She's talented as well. <laughs> um, do you know? Has Taylor heard about the billboard? Do you have any idea? Yeah, yeah, she has uh, seen it. Uh, we heard, and uh, we heard from her record label last week asking for some music from me. So I'm um, just keeping the fingers crossed on that. Big Machine, Big Machine actually asked for some music. They wanted to hear some stuff. They did, yeah. Okay, yeah. I asked for a statement from Big Machine, and Big Machine said that they thought your idea was cute and way to get noticed by Nashville. Way to go, kid. Basically, is all they would say. Okay. <laughs> so, and, you know, obviously, we know Taylor Swift is really busy. I wouldn't expect to get a statement from Taylor herself or have her calling tonight. Although that'd be kind of cool to put her on the spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah, if you're listening. <laughs> Taylor, yeah, Taylor, if you're if you're listening out there, um, do you want to play a song for us? Sure, I'd love to. Let's do it, man. All right. Um, so I was dating this girl a little while back and uh, got cold feet in typical guy fashion. And uh, like a few weeks after that, I was thinking thinking about her and us and everything again. And this song came out of it. It's called "That's Just Me." <laughs> If your telephone rings in the middle of the night But no one's on the line, girl, that's just me If you're lying in bed, trying to sleep but instead You're chasing thoughts through your head, girl, that's just me I'm still connected to and tangled up in you Even though this love's so gone And even though we've both moved on Baby, I don't think it's too late to get back To the way we used to be But that's just me That's just me If you turn your radio on, you hear them playing our song. Something makes you sing along, girl, that's just me. If you walk down your street, you see one maple leaf swept away on the breeze. Girl, that's just me. I swear we came so close that my heart can't let go. 
though this love's all gone And even though we've both moved on Baby, I don't think it's too late to get back to the way we used to be That's just me Yeah, maybe I'll never hold you again But still, I just can't help praying I will Cause even though this love's all gone And even though we've both moved on Baby, I don't think it's too late to get back to the way we used to be Yeah, the way we used to be But that's just me that's just me oh, If your telephone rings In the middle of the night But no one's on the line Girl, that's just me Woo! Thanks. <laughs> the Ryan Laird fan club is going crazy over there. <laughs> they're like, they're like, can we clap? Should we clap? Can we clap? You can clap and be loud. It's fine. Yes. Awesome song. Ryan Laird joining Thank us you. in the barnyard, uh, Broadway and Crawl here. Ryan's the guy. Jeez, how many times are you gonna hear this? Ryan's the guy who put the billboard up in Nashville and <laughs> yeah. spent his life savings trying to get Taylor Swift's attention. How can people show their support for what you're doing? You're selling music. Uh, are you taking donate? Let's do a telethon right now. <laughs> donations for the billboard. You mean? <laughs> yeah, that's a funny idea. Don donations to keep you going, man. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I mean, my MySpace is really our main way. Kind of, Taylor kind of started her career that way, and um, that's why I met uh, a good fan of mine, Samantha, and her friends here tonight just through my MySpace page, and really happy that they showed up to the studio here tonight to uh, visit us and meet us. And uh, a lot of Taylor's fans have become my fans over the Internet and MySpace, and I just think it's a great way to uh, launch a, you know, a musical career. And I've done a lot of YouTube videos as well and stuff like that. Borrowing some of Taylor Swift's fans. She's got a few of them. I think that's all right. Yeah, she's got plenty. Yeah. <laughs> What's the URL for your MySpace? MySpace.com slash? Uh, Ryan Laird. Okay, we'll get that linked up on our website if you just go keyword Broadway. I think it'd be cool. Like, i want, I got a million questions I want to ask you, but I think uh -huh. there's like probably a lot of listeners that want to ask like an aspiring country music artist you know, some questions. Like, if you've got some questions, I say fire away. 1-800-633-9393, 9393 Coming back next in the Barnyard with more. It's the Electric Barnyard, Broadway and Crawl, in-studio guest Ryan Laird. Um, if you go to our website, Keyword Broadway, you can uh, check out the uh, the pic of Ryan with his billboard and the the video to the YouTube video. Um, Ryan is the one who spent his life savings on the billboard to try and get Taylor Swift's attention to produce his CD. we got a call here real quick. Hello? Yes, I don't have a question, but I do have a comment. Okay. About the billboard. Sure. I think the... Billboard is a really good idea, although it did make me laugh. Well, <laughs> I think he really could make it. And I think the song that he just sang is really cool. I like it. All right, appreciate your call. 1-800-633-9393. You want to uh, sing us another one, Ryan? Sure, I'd love to. And I hear you have a, a version of uh, Taylor Swift's Should Have Said No, a little Yeah, we did a, I made a, a remix video, kind of a, a male version, I guess you could say, of some of her, uh, a couple of her songs. So uh, they're up on the internet, on YouTube, and on my page and stuff. And uh, just getting kind of some okay. buzz and stuff. So. Let's check that out, too, then. All right. Ready when you are. Strange to think the songs we used to sing, the smiles, the flowers, everything is gone. Yesterday I found out about you Even now just looking at you Feels wrong You said that you'd take it all back Give it one chance It was a moment of weakness And you said yeah you should have said no, you should have gone home You should have thought twice before you let it all go You should have known within that what you did with him and get back to me Get back to me And you should have been there in the back of your mind You should have been asking myself why You shouldn't be begging for forgiveness at my feet 
You should have said no Girl, and you might still have me